Okay, this will just be a quick video showing how to build the uh, Laser Saber air battery design and uh, answer a few questions. I've gotten a lot of questions about the uh, air battery since I posted my first video on the air battery, so I'll try to answer some of those questions. One question that comes in a lot is the uh, source for the magnesium ribbon. I buy my magnesium ribbon from this website right here. I hope you can see this. It's Gallium Source. If you were to Google uh, Gallium Source on Google, it's uh, galliumsource.com, and you pull up this webpage. Uh, anyway, they sell a roll of magnesium ribbon for $3.75 a roll. If you buy more rolls, uh, it drops in price. So they have a pretty good deal going on in that. The other most frequently asked question has to do with the carbon rod. Uh, everybody wants to know what, where, where I get these rods from, what's my source. Um, I just hunt these down on the internet and find the best deal I can find on them. A lot of times I get them on eBay. Uh, I don't think this one is from eBay, but um, I just did a lot of searching. I don't remember a specific source. When I found a price that seemed fair, I just ordered one. So, um, first of all, I drilled a small hole in the top of the rod here and I just inserted a copper wire. Um, so that's pretty simple. Okay, so to start, we just take a, one sheet of uh, paper towel. And you can make, I want to uh, just make sure to point out that you can make these any size. You can use a small carbon rod, a little bit of magnesium ribbon. In this case, I'm going to use a whole roll of magnesium ribbon and a large car carbon rod, but the uh, principles are all the same. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just use one layer of paper towel. You can see that one sheet um, in this case works perfectly. So I'm going to start by uh, taking some of this. This is a tape that I found in the pharmacy department. It's a cotton cloth tape. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start by just anchoring this, uh, this towel down. like that so that we can roll it over tightly. So you can see that's the uh, you do want to keep a nice tight uh, roll there. So just like that. Okay so I'm just going to put a couple more uh, small pieces of this cotton tape on here just to kind of hold that down and the next step we want to do is to take our magnesium ribbon and start attaching it to this uh, carbon rod again I'm going to use this uh, cotton adhesive tape to start that Okay, now it'll just be a matter of uh, rolling it onto here with a little bit of separation. So, I'll come back to that in one second. Okay, just want to point out one important thing. When you come uh, around here, you come by the first, uh, the first winding, you want to make sure that you keep about an eighth inch spacing between the ribbon. Don't let the ribbon uh, touch itself. You want to maintain the spacing all the way up uh, here to the end. So, I'll continue to put some more uh, winds on here and be back in a second. Okay, one thing that I always do for durability reasons, as soon as I get to about my third winding at the beginning and again at the end, I put on a layer of black electrical tape just to hold this on securely so that it doesn't come loose. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so I put on uh, two layers of the tape and I'm going to continue on just as before, uh, just rolling this on, a little bit of spacing. So I'll come back here and show you my progress in just a second. Okay, the only thing that's really of any importance as you continue this process is to keep your uh, spacing even and just uh, keep these winds uh, nice and tight. You don't want these loose at all, so keep a lot of tension on these. So I'm going to go ahead and continue this on up and we'll see where we run out of uh, ribbon at. Okay, you can see I've got the uh, windings done all the way up here to the top. So now I'm just going to put a layer of electrical tape. I'm going to leave this portion uh, sticking out free and we can clip an alligator lead onto that. But uh, that's pretty much it folks. So uh, let me put this uh, last layer of tape on this end and I'll be right back. I just thought I'd show how I attached the uh, tape here. It may be helpful for somebody. 
Um, I start the tape here and then I cross over the uh, magnesium ribbon here and then I come back in under it just to leave this uh, ribbon exposed. And then I'll wrap the tape around a couple, couple wraps and that'll be it. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much it. I'm just going to cut off the uh, excess of the ribbon there. And uh, yeah, that's it. So this is our uh, negative lead, this is our positive lead. So let me get something to hook up to it and we'll see if there's any uh, power on it just uh, dry like this without adding any water or anything else to it. Okay, it's working. Um, what I had to do to get it started was I actually was able to just blow on this and the uh, humidity in my breath that was enough to get it started. So you can see it uh, blinking away there. Let me turn it up a little bit. So anyway, it's enough to uh, get this started. Now if I was to put this in a uh, just regular tap water or spring water or any other type of water this would generate quite a few milliamps probably somewhere around a hundred milliamps or more now um, you can also use salt water and get about an amp out of one of these and uh, you can also just dip it in water and then just let it run on the air humidity alone if you live in a humid environment um, so yeah Really, uh, what you do with it from here on is uh, just up to you, but it is kind of nice if you keep it with just uh, fresh water. You can uh, use it, you can let this dry out, and then reactivate it by wetting it down. So, just a few of the things you can do with this. Okay, so I have immersed this cell in oil. So, I don't know if that's what any of the rest of you necessarily want to do with the cells you build, but this is the direction I'm going with some of my experimentation with these uh, magnesium cells. So here's the one we just made. This one I've been testing in oil for the last couple weeks. And uh, it's amazing to me. The magnesium ribbon is staying very well preserved. So it appears to me that by submerging this in oil that we're able to preserve the cell. Uh, really well. You can see it here running the uh, the jewel ringer. Jewel thief uh, Stephen Jones slash combined circuit. Um, so yeah, anyway. Seems to me that this will run a very very long time. I'll post another update on this in the future but I plan on just letting this one sit and run and I don't really foresee, foresee anything that will stop this particular circuit uh, anytime soon. But it's only one way to find out. Time will tell. Alright, let's all keep building and experimenting and uh, see what we can discover.